Hey, Chris, how you doing? I'm great. How have, uh, you enjoying yourself at Nopcon? Hey, it's a great time. It's a great yeah. show. I, 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 I talked to you yesterday, and you yeah. told me you guys I saw built... Nick on your phone. It was kind of like a portal into another world. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty well, cool. Well, then you told me, you guys, I said, what do you do? And you said, we build pipe organs, and I thought yeah. you were joking, but no. you're not. No. We started out as pipe organ builders, and we still do that. We still do a lot of pipe organ tuning and maintenance, but the market just isn't there. It, the market isn't there the way it used to be, and so we're branching out into some synthesizer work. I've always loved electronic music, and uh, like, why not? Let's just try our hand at this. So, so what do you what do you got at Nopcon today? Okay, well, so um, we're answering the question of if anybody wants polyphony. Well, I guess I don't know if anybody wants polyphony in a Eurorack module, but they're going to get it. So here we have our module. It's called Long Division, which is a kind of a play on words on the fact that it's divide down tone production like an old-fashioned electric piano or electric organ. So basically what we've done is we've taken a electric piano or organ design with diode king and squished it into a Eurorack module. So as far as we know, this is the only Eurorack module that has complete polyphony. You can't outrun the thing. You've got it all broken out here. Yeah, so we have the front panel and then uh, here we have 12 independent running oscillators. They're not synced to any master clock. They all run on their own thing, on their own time. So you can tune each note individually if you want to do weird temperaments and mean tone and Pythagorean and stuff like that. And then this is the key right here. These boards are uh, diode keying boards like we used to use in the 60s and 70s. So I'm going to pick up this board here. Every individual note in the module has five diodes two capacitors, a field effect transistor, and a couple of resistors per note, every single note. So you're just not going to run out of notes. If you want to play it, you can, you can play as many as you want. Let's so show me what it does. Well, so you have just a very basic organ sound. It also has a piano mode, so we can have the percussive attack, and we can take the tone and turn it down, turn the release time up. A little bit of a Hammity kind of imitation if you want it. I'm not going to work too hard on it right now because we're in the <laughs> middle of the video. But uh, So it does piano and organ stuff. It's very basic. It's not, you know, you, you don't have individual ADSR per note or anything like that. but. It answers the question, what if you want a module that you can just put in your Eurorack and just play something? That's it. That's At the end of the day, that's what it's about. Well, okay. you have this thing over here. Oh, yeah. Too. Right. Oh, we also because have... Yeah. So this is, this is what we call 48 gates, and it's just a breakout module. I'm going to leave that plugged in there. And it's basically just... It's basically just an... It's the MIDI module and the level control board's broken out into 48 jacks. So you can drive uh, uh, magnets if you turn the camera over there, there's a little magnet. See, I'm playing the note. So you can hook up your solenoids or lights or switches or relays, what have you, or you can just do a little light show like that, whatever you like. So it's just 48 separate outputs. Or one thing that's fun to do, is to simply run a real quick 48 note sequence of 1 to 48 over and over really fast and just plug in your drum triggers in random spots and it becomes a pattern generator. It's very simple, not sophisticated, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun to play with. I want to see your light show. Okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> so you're actually con going to control it with this, uh, yes, with iPad, this iPad sequencer. So here we go. And then it repeats, so that yeah. that's, yeah. And you have it over okay. here in Yeah. A... So part of the fun of this is that sequencing, you can do as many notes as you can handle. And so here we have a Keystep Pro, which we programmed in just a fun little, is it playing? Yeah. Yeah, so every step of the sequence can have as many notes as you want to load into it. So we loaded in this sequence. <laughs> Like 
that. And you were telling me, uh, I'm not sure, maybe yeah. you did t say it, uh -huh. that those actually, there's that, it outputs, because mm -hmm. when, when you were showing me the motors, I'm not yeah. sure if you said it. Uh, on this module, each output is capable of 12 volts at 120 milliamps per jack. So you have to watch out. I mean, if you max the thing out, you'd be drawing five amps out of your power supply, which you probably don't want to do. But most, uh, you know, most devices you're going to be using like little solenoids and things like that. They're not going to be drawing quite that much. But it's it's plenty to move a big magnet like that, as we said. Oh, yeah. I, I unplugged it, but it can draw that, and we run this motor with it too, and it works. It works fine. Cool. Well, thanks. Oh, it's my pleasure. stuff to have fun with. Absolutely, hundred percent. That's what it's all about. Thank you.